Today we will present you with a cake, variant of red velvet. The red wine recipe is suitable for Valentine's Day as well as for any personal holiday and festive table. This cake is very easy to prepare and my wife would say that it does not require a lot of skill. The characteristics of the cake is definitely the wine which adds a light fruity taste and preserved its moisture. Method of preparation. For baking you can use a spring pan or if you have two identical trays you can divide the mixture and bake it at the same time without having to cut it afterwards. Cover the form with baking paper and grease the bottom and sides with butter. Depending on the occasion, respectively how many pieces you want to have, in the past she has used different size pan, 24, 28 or 32 cm. In a bowl or directly in the bowl of the stand mixer, combine the soft butter, oil, brown sugar, salt, baking powder, cinnamon and vanilla extract. All measurements can be found in the description. Stir the mixture on low for about 5-6 minutes, then increase the speed to medium for another 5 minutes until the cream becomes fluffy and light. We take short breaks to scrape the sides of the bowl. With the mixer running, add the eggs one by one, stirring well before adding the next one. After reducing the speed to low, sprinkle with one third of the pre-sifted flour and cocoa powder, followed by one third of the wine. We alternate them twice more. Again, we stop briefly to scrape the sides of the bowl. Also make sure that the butter on the bottom is mixed well. Mix until homogeneous mixture is obtained. Pour the mixture in the cake pan. Bake in a preheated oven at 170 degrees Celsius or 340 Fahrenheit for about 40 to 45 minutes. Check for doneness with a skewer on which moist crumbs should remain. Cool the sponge on a wire rack for about 90 minutes. If there are irregularities on the top, we can remove them using a sharp knife. You can start assembling the cake the same day, but if you don't have enough time, you can leave the sponge in the fridge by wrapping it in cling film and assembling the cake the next day. Preparation of the cream. At medium speed, beat the butter cream cheese for about 10 minutes until fluffy. Add the sifted powdered sugar and vanilla and beat well again. It's time for the two challenges, cutting the sponge and decoration. My wife does not have much experience in uh, cutting sponges, but after making this several times, she realized that cutting it on the same day when the sponge was baked is much easier than it was when left in the refrigerator. This sponge has been in the fridge and was not at all cooperative. In such cases, don't worry and use a knife, just enough to start, then switch to dental floss for the final cut. Also, don't worry if you don't divide the sponge into two perfect pieces. The cream will make your cake look perfect, even with a little crooked sponges. After we have prepared the two sponges, we spread the first one with about a third of the cream. Put the second layer on top and smear the whole cake with the rest of the cream. All you have to do is let your imagination run wild and decorate it as you like. White is definitely a good base. She takes into account the fact that it's a wine cake and chooses uh, decorations and ingredients that combine well with and complement the wine. You can see photos of some of her previous decorations with sliced almonds and chocolate drops, French macarons, rosemary, star anise and raisins, rose tea and colored white chocolate and why not real tulips. Enjoy!